Hello, I would like to welcome you to the Laramie K Optician Works Training Center, where today I'm going to take you through the steps of rebuilding a three-piece mount frame. You may also know them as fully rimless or drill mounts. Now, some of the steps are a little bit hard to capture on video, so I would also encourage you to go over to the Optician Works website where there are some truly amazing macro images of the steps. When I was at Vision Expo a couple of months ago, the thing that I got asked most to demonstrate when I was at the SIOS booth was rebuilding a three-piece or a fully rimless mount. So I thought, well, it must be time for a video on that. Step number one, know what you have. There are a, probably a couple hundred different versions of how a three-piece mount frame is put together. If you don't have the right parts, the right pieces, and the right tools, you go and take something apart, you may never get it back together again. What is my favorite saying is, don't say I didn't warn you. If your lenses are drilled for 1.6 and the only bushings you have around are 1.8, that is not going to go back together. The first thing you're going to do is snip off the old bushings. And of course, I'm going to take you through this step by step in video. But uh, as you do that, you're going to want two pairs of cutting pliers, one for trimming bushings, one that's kind of almost a disposable and one beautiful clean one with a polished nose. And I'll show you what I'm talking about there. The next thing you're going to do is separate the lens, the temple, and the bridge. Remember, it's three pieces, two temples, one bridge, one pair of lenses, and you need to pull those apart. You can do that by hand, or there's a tool for that, which I'm going to show you. You need to clean the posts of the barbs and the bushings. The barbs on the bushings off the barbs, that's it. Um, not all of them have that. A soft bushing has barbs, a hard bushing has a post. And we need to learn how to clean those off. Right after you have that, you're gonna load the new bushings, always from the back of the lens. A good time to start putting that in your mind. Always from the back, always from the back. Six, you're gonna push those new bushings through and you're gonna snip them clean with that beautiful polished tool. Once you clip them, it collapses the bushing. You can't get the temple and the bridge started, so you need to open those holes up. You press fit things into place to make sure they're at the right angle, that they're started, that that hole isn't pinched still, make sure everything's about ready to go. You set it with a specific tool designed to do that. Check alignment and you're on your way. A couple of things to go over before we go tearing this frame apart and putting it back together. About 10, 15 years ago, rimless was really, really hot. You, you would not believe how popular this stuff was. You literally could not sell it fast enough. There was specialty groups, the Rimless Eyewear Council, Silhouette took off like a rocket ship, Kawasaki became crazy popular, and I honestly have probably rebuilt well over a thousand pairs of bushing mount three-piece frames. I had mentioned that there are hundreds of styles of this, um, including ones that are glued together. You cannot take this apart and put it back together. It has to be sent to a specialty lab that handles that. You have ones that are simply pressure mounted alone. This is an odd piece that I picked up somewhere along the way. You have the tension of the notch and the tension of the tapered post holding this one together. So again, make sure you know what you're looking at before you go tearing anything apart. Let's go over tools. I talked about the importance of having two pairs of snips and one pair you're going to want to keep for any time that it's coming in contact with the lens. You're putting things back together. The other one, this one, is gonna be the one you're gonna to use to nibble the bushings off of any posts. When you pull them apart after you snip it, there's gonna be some leftover on the barbed style and you need to trim that away. Now I've heard people using all kinds of different tools, but I prefer this. Because I have two different models, two different companies, it's really easy to keep mine apart. If you have two of the same, put a piece of tape or something on it so you can tell them apart. Now, every once in a while, what you wanna do is take this one and this one as it ages and get yourself some super fine sandpaper or uh, emery cloth, if you will, 600, 800, 1200, wet if you can do it, and touch up the front of the nose on that. 
and that is going to keep it from scratching the front of the lens. And this is one of those kind of maintenance items you really need to keep in on a top of. Now, that's going to make that really nice and smooth. And of course, you can finish it off even better by hitting it on a polishing wheel. So there's a nice little tip for you. So I've got two cutting pliers. I have got my specialty pressing tool. This is what presses the temple or the bridge through into the bushings nice and tight. I've got this tool, which is not always necessary, but it does help. This pushes the leftover bushing or the retained temple or bridge through. And you do need something to open up those holes. A plain old optical thumbtack, of course, works just fine. The open end of a safety pin or something like this. This comes from Sios. It's a, it's a really handy tool. I think it's actually part of the spring hinge kit, but I'm not sure. Uh, but it's got a nice sharp little end on there. Last but not least, if you are doing this a different way and have always done it the other way and it works out great for you, well, that's just super. Please do not feel a need to send me a nasty email saying that I'm doing it wrong or something. Okay, let's take this thing apart and put it back together again. I'm going to take my good clippers, my ones that are perfectly smooth, couldn't get any better because I don't want to take risk of damaging this lens. And I'm going to trim away the bushing on the back. Right, just like our steps say. All right, so step one is done. I've trimmed off the back side of the bushing. Now I need to separate this. I need to get this temple off. I need to get the bridge and I need to get this temple off as well. I can do that by hand, get it to come apart, and it doesn't want to. So this is where this tool would come in handy. There we go. The bridge is usually quite easy. You got some good leverage on there. That's a part. That's a part. It may as well go ahead and use this. Always use your tools from the top on these. You're far less likely to pinch a lens and damage it. All right, I've got my lenses and my chassis separated. The next step, according to my whiteboard guide, is I need to nibble away this bushing if they're left behind. Again, they're not always there. I've always liked this coming in at just a little bit of an angle seems to help. You do not want to destroy the barbs. You should not be cutting into the metal, you're only removing the little plastic bushing pieces that are left over. This is cleaning up nice and easy. All right, got one temple done, the bridge, one temple to go here. There we go, all right. So I've got that all cleaned up, that's like a new chassis. My lenses are empty, so now I need to reload them. I grab my bushing. If I were in doubt about what size hole I had on my frame, I could use a tool like this. It is a, what's called a pinwheel. 1.4, let's try that out. Ah, 1.4, there we go, that's the bushing size that I would need. And that is what I happen to have handy, so I'm good to go there. And you load the bushing from the back side through to the front. Go ahead and load up both sides of this. And I'm gonna put my finger behind this and I'm gonna put a whole lot of pressure pushing out towards the front. I'm gonna grab my good pair of cutting pliers and I'm gonna snip those off as flush as I can get them. Lots of pressure pushing that bushing out towards the front. Clip, clip, that's one down. Let's grab our other one. That through. Lots of pressure from the back, snip, snip. You can see if that cutting plier was not polished on its nose, how you could scratch or damage the lens. Now I've got four bushings in place, cutting them, squeeze them together. I need to open them up. I'm gonna take my very, very fancy thumbtack and I am gonna do just that. I'm gonna open that hole up nice. So it's gonna easily take the barbs, the barbed post back. 
Do not ignore this step, folks. This is a really important one. It's cleaning those up. The next tricky part is, and you're not going to believe me when I tell you this, but is make sure that you put things back together the right way. Uh, make sure that your lens shape looks correct. Make sure you put your right on your right and your left on your left for your temples. You don't want to do this more often than you have to. I'm going to go ahead and put my bridge on first. That tends to be a little bit easier. My shape looks good looking at this as a human being. Con vex side up this to the front. I'm going to start this. Put it right in there and get it started by hand. Make sure it's sitting. Then I'm going to grab my pliers, which are designed specifically for this task. Putting pressure out towards the front and squeeze it. And I'm pulling this way to seat the bushing forward while pushing this way to get it to clamp down. Got that started really nicely. And that's together. Almost there. Here again, the tricky part, make sure I've got my left, left, that looks good. Trust me, easy mistake to make, so don't feel bad if you do it once or twice. You got that one started, that feels really good. Again, I got my thumb back here pushing the bushing forward so that this fully seats. I don't want that bushing to push it back out against me and collapse on itself. And that's really well started already. That my finger behind that, squeezing it in place. And I've got my three piece drill mount and fully rimless frame back together. Now let's go ahead and run through the steps one more time. And this time we will treat it like an actual job. I just happen to have a brand new Moto fully rimless here. So let's put it through its paces. First, I need to cut some real lenses. So using the lens schematic and the whole edit software, I can enter all my coordinates. Once that is done, I can enter all the usual stuff and we will include a front and rear safety bevel and a polish on these poly single vision lenses. Now, most of you have seen plenty of edging videos by now, but not that many with this, which in this case is the most important part, drilling. First, it drills through the lens, then it goes back and enlarges the hole to the 1.6 diameter that we need. Once the entire edging cycle is complete, I'm ready to disassemble and reassemble these. I have my tools, lenses, 1.6 bushings and my frame. So the first thing I need to do is take this one apart and I have never done this before. We'll see if it pulls apart or if we need to use any special tools. And the head of that post is sticking through there. So I'd be kind of extra careful pulling that bushing away before snipping it because I don't want to damage my tool at all. Let's see if that'll pull apart. Nah, really doesn't want to do that very easily. So let's switch to this. There we go. There we go, finally. Okay, got those all cleaned up. Those have no more bushing pieces left on them anywhere. That is generally how a frame would come to you from the factory. You don't generally get a three-piece mount with demo lenses in it, so you usually don't have to take it apart. So now we can go ahead and put our bushings in. And there are my bushings in place. 
As I mentioned before, I'm going to be pushing back from the back side, getting those bushings pushed as far forward as possible. And clip nice and clean, snug right up against the lens. Pushing from behind. Snip, snip. There's my right down. Let's go ahead and do my left. Now, I did not have a set of lenses with AR coating, just didn't have any in my drawers. So, of course, these aren't going to be quite as beautiful as they should be. Let's go ahead and open those holes up. That's good. My bridge. Start again pushing from behind, pushing from the front. Getting it started by hand, I want it to be able to sit like that. Then I break out my tool, pushing from the front, pushing from the back. Are so good. Here I said, always make sure you've got the right temple on the right side, left temple on the left side. Easy mistake to make, so don't feel bad. Get it started by hand, okay, pushing from the back so the bushing doesn't want to push back through. Set that one. We've got one to go. All right, I'll do a little bench alignment on that and take a fashion shoot for you. Thank you so much for watching. If you are watching me on Facebook, please give us a like. It does help us out. If you're watching me on YouTube, hit that subscribe button down, right down there in the corner. Go ahead and click on that and make certain that every single three-piece mount lens in your optical life comes from Laramie K. I will see you again next week. Three-piece frame. <laughs>